Mr. Jones, you and your mother are co-plaintiffs who have brought the defendant, Ms. Milan, to court to prove her three-month-old son, Quinnell Jr., is not your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. You claim you took Ms. Milan and her other six kids into your home, and now she's trying to take you for a ride by claiming... This baby is yours. Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, you say when today's DNA results prove you are not the father, you are seeking $1,500 for housing and child care expenses. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Milan, though you do admit to cheating on Mr. Jones with another man, you say you're unsure if you were already pregnant when you cheated. Yes, Your Honor. You say you're here today to prove to Mr. Jones and his meddling mother once and for all that Mr. Jones is without a doubt the biological father of baby Quinnell Jr. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Jones, why do you feel Quinnell Jr. is not your son's child? Well, Your Honor, I contacted the court three days after the baby was born because I watched my son break down at the hospital. You know, he was going to be devastated if this child wasn't his. It doesn't make sense to not know. And so, how did you two meet? Her mother and my mother was neighbors. When she moved back home with her mom, her mom used to talk to her about me or whatever like that. And then how'd this relationship begin? When I first, you know, moved home with my mom, I noticed him. She was like, you know, this Mr. Jones, he lived next door. We started, you know, just on a friendly note, you know, hey, how you doing? We'll sit out, we'll talk, laugh, joke. I'll go back in, tend to my kids. Um, Eventually, he started, like, I could tell it was a little more flirting going on. Like, he'd be like, um, why don't you come watch a movie sometime? Or, you know, I wasn't taking him very <laughs> seriously because it, it is an age difference in, between me and Mr. Jones. So, why but were you entertaining this? We started off, uh, we, w- we were just friends. I'd go outside, smoke, he'd play with the boys, you know, my six other boys. Um, eventually, they got the mom. So, he and... became close with the kids? He would play with the kids? Yeah, he became real close. With and them. did you enjoy that interaction, having yes, someone there, I a did. father figure for your children? Yeah, I did. Did you all talk about having a baby? Was this a committed relationship? Was this just um, dating? In, in the beginning, we were friends, like I said, and then we just eventually did have sexual relations. I didn't take it, you know, serious at the time I was with my ex at the time, so... Oh, you were? You were still with your ex? Yeah, so this ring, I kind of, you know, leaned back off of Mr. Jones. But eventually, I seen how I was feeling about Mr. Jones. Even after we had sex or whatever, he was like... He was looking at it as a friendship. But my thing was, I don't have sex with my friends. I thought it was more once I did cut my ex off, so... So, Mr. Jones, you thought this was just, uh... What? I feel like once I pr- approached her, you know what I'm saying, I tried to make her my lady, she chose her ex over me. You felt like you were, um, runner-up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I came to her and I came to her like a man. I was like, I like you and I'm feeling you or whatever like this, so we can make something happen. Once I started sleeping with Mr. Jones, I was no longer sleeping with my ex. You knew that a likely consequence of having unprotected sex would be that you would become pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. Did you discuss that with Mr. Jones? He always said he couldn't have children. Said the doctor told him. Why'd you say you couldn't have children, Mr. Jones? Because I used to play sports in school or whatever, so I had to, you know, have a full body physical. And they told me that I wasn't able to have kids. So So... during a physical, they told you you would be unable to have children? Yes, ma'am. Judge, it was at a point where uh, they had got to the point where they were serious to the point enough for her and her kids didn't have anywhere to go. So I offered for her and her kids to come to my house. That's how I thought that they were in a relationship with So you thought they were in a relationship? Yes, yeah, because it, when it, her, time or she and her children didn't have anywhere to go, uh-huh. you said they could come and stay with you. Yes, ma'am. Yep. And they did. Yes. Yeah. When they came, when they came and stayed with me and my mom, me and my mom, we was then in a, in a, a relationship. relationship. Yeah. When they came and stayed. Ms. Jones, in your suit, the uh-huh. suit you've brought today, you're suing for $1,500. Yes, ma'am. Because you say she owes you some rent money because she was staying at your house. Yes, ma'am. But in your testimony, you just stated that you invited her to come stay with you. She had nowhere to go. Because she had nowhere to go. She had nowhere to go, the bottom line. And I wasn't going to leave her out there whether she had money or not, but eventually you're going to get some, okay? I'm going to look for you to reimburse me for what, I've, what I'm doing for you. Right. And your son was living there with... Ms. 
Mylon and the children yes. at first? Yes. He when, left. When I left, I didn't, I didn't come back home from the bar. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. What happened so was now... she ended up going through my phone or whatever like that, and she got, and she seen that I, I ended up conversating with my ex, so we, they started an argument, so I left that day. And when I left, I went to a bar with my friends or whatever like that, my ex so happened to uh, appear there. He didn't okay. leave the prior. He left the prior. He left the day <laughs> Those after. Those exes always appear. Yeah, she, this was an ex. They never that always disappear. Appeared. They only appear. It was so yeah. much going on at the time. This when I got so upset when I seen the text. I hadn't even been thinking about the ex. She had been out the picture this time for a sec. The ex always appeared. So now, when you're living with Miss Jones, the baby's born or you're pregnant? No, this no, is before the baby's this even conceived. Yeah. Even before I mean, conception. or maybe uh -huh. why it, it, conception could have happened then. That's Mr. What... Jones, you took your one girlfriend and her kids, moved them into your mother's house, and then went with your ex. Yes, pretty much. That's what yes, he Your Honor. Like you said, I'm young. It's a big age difference. I started getting a little... I, get, I got a little you no know, stressed out. You know what I'm saying? It's six kids, all boys, plus plus my mom, my two my stu, uh, my two little sisters. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, the house is packed. It was crowded. I got frustrated. I ain't gonna lie. It started to get to me. Come, come morning, I have to go to work. So I'm calling him, I'm calling him, I'm, calling him. I'm like, where are you, where are you? You know I have to go to work. And he was like, he wasn't answering at first and I was like getting mad. So I'm like, okay, I need you to be here because I wasn't comfortable with leaving her and all of her kids at my home unattended because she had so many. And by him leaving, I was like, okay, why am I doing this and you're not even here? And my reason for doing it yeah. was for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you say she's trying to trap your son. I felt like she was trying to trap my son because she stopped taking her birth control. She said it was making her sick, and, but she should have started a, another birth control instead of stopping it all together. What would be her motive to trap your son? She want to be with him. She wants to have him in her life. Is that true, Ms. Mylon? No, Why'd you I stop taking I birth stopped. control? I was sick. It, it was just making me sick. And so how did you find out she was pregnant? She called. She called and told me I was with my ex. She called and Is told me. Is it still me. your ex when you back, back with her? No, I live. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. No, she's still Young. my ex. We wasn't together. When, when I when I was with my ex, we, she, we wasn't together. It just we, we had separated. we had a, a well, long we separated. I live. relationship. I didn't All run right. back. So get to the pregnancy part. <laughs> okay. Okay. She was. She called. She said she was three and a half weeks pregnant. I was like, by who? You know what I'm saying? She, she said, it's a possibility, it's your, I know that, you know what I'm saying? Then she was like, I had sex with my ex or whatever like that, so she was like, it's a possibility that it could have been him too. So she tells you, she tells right, off being honest, right off it the bat. It could back. be she yours, straightforward. it could be his. Mm -hmm. When I found out she stopped taking the birth control, the first thing I done was I gave my son some condoms because she has six kids already and I know she's fertile. Use them. Did you use them, Mr. Jones? No. No. See, you should. Sometimes. When you found out she was pregnant, even though she said it could be yours or it could be my ex's, did you step up? Yes, yes ma'am. You did? Yes, ma'am. I, I wanted to knew... make sure. I wanted yes. to make sure. If, if it's a possibility of being my child, I want to be there. I don't want to miss nothing. I want to be able to go back That's and right. tell, tell these stories and say I was there doing this, doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. right. when, he was, when he was being born, I'm right there holding her hand, watching everything. Yeah. That's right. And That's... you were there as well, Ms. Jones? I was at the hospital, you know, like I told my son, I, just be there until we find out otherwise because he, I raised him without a father. And every child needs their parents. And I don't want him to be the, like the man that, his father. I want him to be a better man. So. I understand. And she was pregnant, yeah, and she didn't have true. to lift a finger. Your Honor, yeah. she didn't have to lift a finger for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I did everything. You no. Know, take care of the boys, make sure they going to school. He I was, you no know, feeding her, doing the cleaning. Yeah. So did you ever tell the ex that he potentially could be the father too? I told him first. You know, he was, I was around him at the time. I was feeling sick and I was like, you know, I knew I hadn't been out there that long also. But I did go to the store and get a pregnancy test and it came out positive. I ended up telling Mr. Jones also. And you know, he did his talking or whatever, but he ended up texting and was like, Okay, regardless of what, you know, if this is my child, I do want to be around. Let me know when you go to the doctor. So you were there participating like the father. Did you sign the birth certificate? No, I no, told you no, not to. No, I, I didn't he sign wasn't. anything because I wanted the DNA test first. 
Well, that was smart. Yeah, my son <laughs> cried, Judge. When I say he, he cried, he literally broke down at this hospital. He literally cried and broke down because he was gonna be devastated. And I felt his pain. I mean, I could literally feel his pain. That's why I contacted the court to help us because I wanted him to be sure. But and it... when you say he isn't sure, can you explain to me what the doubt is exactly? My brother passed in uh, July the 16th of last year. And during that time is around the time that she got pregnant. And she came to give her condolences and everything, but she came with another man. I and drove. on another occasion, I was she, uh, I uh, I'm at a friend's oh. house playing dominoes. It's a guy come, come, come to that house. We, it's like a different street. This guy come knocking on the door looking for her. And I'm like, okay, you on the wrong side. See, I had my doubts because, you no, know, the doctor told me I wouldn't be able to have kids. You know and so between you seeing her with other men, her admitting that she also slept with her ex, and then you being told, Mr. Jones, that you were sterile and wouldn't be able to have children, that's a lot of doubt for you. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Mylan, you submitted a calendar to the court. Yes, Your Honor. This calendar outlines in red the date you were intimate with Mr. Jones. So that was June 28th. Yeah, that's a... And then next it shows, in yellow, where you went for your ultrasound on August the 8th. Mm -hmm. They told you you I were... Was five weeks and four days. You were five weeks and four days. So if you count back five weeks and four days, all right, I see you've had sex with Mr. Jones. Now, your ex, did you have sex with him sometime during that window? I want to say maybe two or three to three days after the 4th of July. So, if it was two days after the 7th, this is when you had sex with <laughs> X. That's still a very close window. Your Honor, I ain't never been through this situation, and I do have seven boys and all now. I always knew who my kid's father was. You did sleep with both men during the window of conception? Yes, I did. And so, Ms. Mylan, what are your hopes for today? I'm praying, like, when I first found out, and I was like, God, please don't let this be, you know, my ex-child, even to the point where I was like, I'm gonna give it up for adoption if I could just know off the muscle that it was his, you know? But I put it in God's hands, and I was like, I don't feel... I told Mr. Jones, and he stepped up immediately, like, he was there the whole time, two months on up until now. He's been there, he's all... And you named the baby know. Quinil. Yes, I did. But I always, I, your I always... last name because he didn't sign the birth certificate. Yeah. So, what are your hopes, Mr. Jones and Miss Jones? Do you hope the child is yours? Yes. I pray. We, we've been taking care him. of this child since the day he came out, Jones. I love him. And we're, love we're gonna, we, I, I will continue to do that. I just want my son to be sure that this is his child. If he's there and he's saying, Mama, this is my baby, and I, that means me as a grandmother, I'm supposed to step up and take up where he's, where he's fall short. I feel like me and her kids had a relationship before I even met her. Actually. Okay. So they used to watch me play ball. You no, know, I used to teach them how to play ball and stuff like this. So I feel he like was, they was there before her. He was a her. good male role model the whole time. Like, you know, as far as them being around the male and him being young, like, I couldn't believe the attachment myself. Like, they are ex mom. Can we go out and get Mr. Jones, see if he want to play football or basketball, even to when they was, you know, having trouble in school, you know, mom. And so he was always there for them? He was always there for them, even when we were just friends. So, in addition to the $1,500 you're suing for, you also have spent money on diapers, wipes, formula, Clothes. onesies. Anything I thought Infant he would care need, that items, he didn't have. And you've provided the court with these receipts today. Yes, ma'am. Those are just a few. I will deal with your suit after I get done with the results. First, I'm going to go to the results. Are we ready? Yes. yes. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Jones versus Mylan, when it comes to three-month-old, Quinil Milan, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are not the father. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, I'm like... You okay, Mr. Jones? I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I hope you will find comfort in knowing that you did the right thing. No matter what you may have gotten wrong or right in the relationship with Miss Milan, you did right by this beautiful baby. As for your suit, Miss Jones, for $1,500 for the room and board and for all of the expenses related to the child... You know something, Judge? I don't need any money. She's gonna need everything that she has to take care of those kids. This is why it's an honor for me to sit here because I get to witness the power of forgiveness, humanity, compassion on a daily basis. Ms. Milan, you've got seven boys, right? Yes, ma'am. You want them to grow up to be good young men, so find good role models for them and good role models for yourself. Now, Ms. Johnson, you confess you have found yourself literally caught between your lover and your husband. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You now have a daughter, and you say you're unsure which man fathered her. Yes. Now, Mr. Anderson, you argue that the defendant, Mr. Johnson, is forcing his wife to keep the child from you. Yes, ma'am. You believe four-year-old Briley is your daughter, and you say you're here today to prove it. I do. Now, Mr. Johnson, you admit you have reason to doubt paternity, but say that you and your wife are the child's parents. Yes. yes and ma'am. Mr. Anderson will never be her father. Yes, ma'am. All right, so Mr. Anderson, what are your intentions if the child in question is determined to be your daughter today? Well, first of all, I want her name changed to Anderson because all my other kids are in the Anderson and I want my name put on the birth certificate and I want it to be able to see her anytime I get ready. So now, take me back. How did you meet Miss Johnson in the first place? It was during the summer of 08. A uh, partner and myself, we was riding, and I went by a family member house of hers, and she was out on the porch and uh, had on some little short shorts, and we exchanged numbers, got to texting and talking. Before you know it, we was having sex, this and that. Even uh, talked about having a kid at one time, you know, during the little four months we was So just... you met, you saw her outside, you thought she was good looking, and you said, I want to meet her, and the next thing you know, you all were having sex. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, we got real close, got to talking, and... But she did you got... know she was married? Yes, I, she was up front with me about that, yeah, yeah. But um, she even got to the point where we had got so close, she would confide in me how she had, you know, messed around before on, on her husband, you know. So you feel like you were in a relationship with this woman? We, we were for, for a certain time, you know. Like I said, you know, things was good when he was gone because he wasn't there. They were separated. He wasn't okay. there. And, you know, she was spending a lot of time with me, and we got close where, you know, I would confide in her about my relationship with, you know, my girl and stuff, you know. So you had a girl, too? Yes. All right, so, Ms. Johnson, explain to me. Now, you met Mr. Anderson, but you were separated from your husband. What? Yes, ma'am. Let me just start from the beginning. Please. Um, my husband had left me to go be with some other woman, and um, he wasn't, I'm just, I wasn't going to let him just go out and have a good time and me to sit home and wait for him. So I went out and done my thing, too. Okay. Well, at least you told that truth, didn't you? So uh-huh. your position was your husband left uh-huh. you to go be with another woman. Mm-hmm. Now, is that the reason you were separated or this happened during the separation? That happened before the separation. Mr. Anderson, he, he always treated me like a queen. We had instant connection. You were with another woman. But, Your Honor, she left me yes, to man. go back to him. And when you go back to your husband, you resume, I presume, a sexual relationship with him. Yes, when I went back to my husband, um, I found out that I was pregnant. So I have, I have this calendar I'd like to present to you. Jerome, please pass me that. Um, I was with him. There you go. Sure. Thank you. All right. You have here that outlined in yellow are the dates you were intimate with Mr. Anderson, which would be the plaintiff. Now, outlined in green, you have the dates that you admittedly were intimate with your husband, Mr. Johnson. Yes, ma'am. And then outlined in red are when you could have conceived. Yes, ma'am. So what we see is that on the 12th, You had slept with Mr. Anderson, but then the rest of that month, you were sleeping with your husband. Yes, ma'am. 
And so when you came up pregnant, did you know exactly who the father was? No, ma'am, I didn't know. I told I was up front with my husband. I told him that I was pregnant, that I wasn't 100 percent sure that it was his, but he was excited. He said, we're, we're going to do this. I also called Mr. Anderson and told him that I was pregnant, but that I was going to be with my husband. That he was going to be the daddy, that she didn't want me to have nothing to do with her. When did you find out she was pregnant? I want to say she was probably like two months before I found out when she called and told I me I didn't about want to confuse Riley with two different daddies, and I was married to Brad, and that's why I wanted him to be the father. I mean... But, Your Honor, when, when she wasn't in good terms with her husband, she wanted me to be the dad. She would call and text and talk to me. So, specifically, what would she say? No, we just chit-chat, you know, That's just talk. Right. She asked how I'm doing. I, I do the same, you know, this and that. I would ask when was her next appointment, this and that. You're saying you maintained a speaking relationship throughout the pregnancy. Yeah, just a couple times. It, you know, like I said, once she told me that he was going to be the father, we probably spoke a couple more times, but then... Like through the nine months of her pregnancy, no, we didn't talk That's that much. Right. So when she told you, That's she said, right. "He gonna be the father." I am the but father. But you felt it's like in your mind that years. it was possible you were the father. Right. So she says, "My husband's just gonna be the father." Right. What do you do? Just step back? Well, really, at that time, yeah, I was, I was like, I was cool with it because, like I said, I got a family. You know, I had an old lady, and we, you know, I was cool with it for a minute. You know, for a but minute. The, yeah, I He's was cool with it. I was cool. But he's, then he's after Briley... What is he lying about, specifically? Well, about us still talking when I was are, pregnant. Are you saying that because you don't want Brad to know we still talk? I'm saying what? that because that's the truth. That's not the truth, Diana. So, bottom line, you say you did not speak to him anymore after you got back together with your husband. Right. And you're lying. So, when's the last time you two were intimate? Um, when I got pregnant. Right, right around the time when I got pregnant, which I'm not sure is Brad or Randy is the father. That was the last yes, time? Yes, ma'am. Last year. Last that year? Last year. Wow. Wait a minute. Because this calendar was from 2008. What happened last year? We hooked up. Miss Johnson, <laughs> is this true? No, ma'am. He's lying. This never happened? That never happened. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When Riley was born, who was with you? My husband. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I, I tried to see Riley. I called the hospital when she w went in labor. Mr. Johnson answered the phone. He gave Diane the phone. She hung up on me. And you called up there, why? Because you felt yeah, like this yeah, could be yeah, your yeah, child. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? For what? But you just told me a moment ago when she told you that Mr. Johnson was going to be the father of the child, you said you were cool right. with that and, but, and you just but, stepped but back because you but had once a family. when I heard that she was here in this world, then I had a change of heart. I'm like, okay, I'm going to call and check on and see how she's doing. Were you calling out of duty or were you calling out of curiosity like I want to see this baby and see if it looks like me? I want to see the baby. Right. You want to see the baby? Yes, ma'am. To see if it looks like right, me, to right. see if it could be mine? Right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. When he called Mr. Johnson, yes, you did hand her the phone? Yes, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm real. I'm real. I'm a man, you know. Hey, you call, I'm gonna hand did her the phone. Did you hand her yes, the phone and not hang up on this, this man? Uh -huh. And look, I, I want the truth. Did you do that because you know in your mind there's a possibility that he could be the child's father, too? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, yes, ma'am. All right. So, to this day, Riley's now four years old. Yes, ma'am. Do you believe that you're her father or do you believe oh. Mr. Anderson is her father? I'm a father. I'm gonna be a father regardless. Your Honor, I, I, if she is proved to be my, I could be more... He's not a father to the kids he has already by her. Brother, you got about 12 and... No, I, do I, you got, no I got seven. Huh? I got seven. I got seven. Come on, hey, take care of Keep all of them. You take care of all of them. Hey, here's one right here. I got my oldest right That's here That's all with right. Me. Here's one oh, right here. Yeah, you had to get... Yeah, okay. I know. Now, his mama take good care of him. We You're... take good care of him. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Who he with? He with his dad. Bro, bro. He with his dad. Now, Mr. Anderson. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever met Riley? Have you ever seen her? Yes, ma'am. Miss Johnson herself has met me at the ballpark and let me see Briley. Her mother sneaks around, let me meet her go at grocery stores, at football games and stuff. Yeah, they have, but it's always, uh -huh. he don't know nothing about it when they do it. 
We may have seen each other at the ballpark or something, but I've never intentionally carried my daughter to meet him. Your Honor, Your Honor, it was last year when she turned three. I called her mother and asked her, could I bring her a birthday gift? And uh, she was like, well, let me talk to Dinah first. This is what uh, Dinah's mother said. Well, let me talk to Dinah and see what she said. And then Dinah said, as long as he stay outside, because I, she didn't want her I, other two kids, she did not want her other two kids to see me up there and ask, what was I doing up there? I wasn't there. OK. Is it true that he still speaks on the phone to your mother? Yes, ma'am. And you're, you're saying she and her mother let you see Briley? Yes, ma'am. Now, Mr. Anderson, you brought a witness. Please I stand up. Too. Just one second. I'm going to get to your doubts, Mr. Johnson. Please step up to the podium. State your name. Mark Wellis, Jordan Anderson. And you are Mr. Anderson's... Oldest son, yes. Oldest son. And what do you have to add, sir? Every time that I've seen my little sister, Dana, well, Miss Johnson, she has tried to hide it from her husband. Like, she does not want her... Will want him to know That's that lie. my father That's not is her dad. How do you That's know this? That's not true. My brother, my little brother, plays baseball with her son, and they've been at the park before, and Ms. Johnson wouldn't say anything while she was in front of Brad. Like I was saying, she's trying to hide it from him, but well, if she, when, she was with his, when she was with her mother, she would, bring, she would be more encouraging for me to go and come up to her, like, Riley, there's your brother right there. And I she never encouraged your to brother? Do yes. Riley. Did you ever refer to Mr. Anderson's son here as Riley's brother? Did no, you say this that, is your brother? No, ma'am. I'm, I'm in my son baseball game. Are there times when you're not able to make it to the sometimes. game? Okay. Sometimes. Okay. So and sometimes I don't go. When he don't so, go, I usually don't go. My mom carries Riley sometimes, and if they're referring that they say Riley at the ball game, Riley is with my mom. You are saying that you have never, never allowed Mr. Anderson or his son to visit, see, or spend time, get to know Briley. No, ma'am, I haven't. Your Honor, that's a lie. <laughs> she has been to our, my uh, function with us on Christmas. As a matter of fact, it was last year on Christmas. My father, I was in a car with him. He was like, I'm about to go pick up Briley. Came back up to my grandmother's house. Briley was up there. She still... He had Briley at Riley your grandmother's house? Her at my grandmother's house. Your Honor, I had a Riley brother... Riley doesn't even I had know a brother, him. I had a brother that was incarcerated, and he just got out uh, 2010 after doing 10 years. We had a big barbecue for him and stuff. She let Briley come over then. Who let Briley come over? You did. You had I... your mother to drop <laughs> Wait him Wait a minute now. That's a hold lie. on, hold That's on, lie. hold on. Ms. Johnson, look, without judgment, which even though I'm going to give a judgment later, but without judgment right now, I'm a mother of a three-year-old. Are you suggesting to me that your child was over his house with his family at a Christmas function and you didn't know Without about my it? my knowledge. You didn't know about it. I know. How does a three-year-old okay. child get somewhere where the their mother doesn't know where they are? How does the mother exactly. not know where her child exactly. is? My mom took her. But you, okay, but you didn't so know. You, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I've gone to my husband wait, with his family. But did wait, you not know? I think the truth you is becoming evident. You said your mother took her there. So you did If she know. went, my mother oh. took her. Oh, now it's if she, if she oh. did. Yeah, now it's if she went. Why would your mother do that? Why would her mother try and go out the way to make Briley get to know my father if, if she, she didn't have him. any doubts that my father was her father? Why, why, why would her mama do that? She doesn't know him. None of his family. I am, I am genuinely you're, trying to understand this. What would your mother do that for? I guess Randy had called and asked her. Oh, oh don't, 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 Wait a minute. But she doesn't don't, know. Don't, don't. Your Honor, the bottom line is she hasn't wanted me and Briley's life but to make him happy. She has put He's Briley's life... He's been her father for four years. Okay, let me ask another question. Burning. Were you aware that Briley had attended the Christmas function over at his house? I don't know nothing about no Christmas function. You know what the fuck Hold on, know. hold on now. So, Mr. Johnson, were you ever aware that your mother-in-law had allowed potentially, this child to go over to his house or to see Mr. Anderson and his family? No, ma'am. You two are her parents. This child was born during your marriage. You signed the birth certificate. Right. This is your child. Right. I'm trying to understand what day of the week is your child over at another man's Christmas function 
with his family that neither one of you all are saying you know. That's because it ain't his foul, because he ain't, he ain't there with her. He just sleep, girl. He, ain't, he don't do nothing with her. So, look. Man, what? You don't do that nothing with her. Let me tell you something. You don't do nothing with your own kids, man. Let me tell you something. How you gonna hey, tell, I'm tell me? All my kids, like. I, I, I wouldn't Come let on, you babysit my dog. Keep it real. Keep it real. You hear me? Keep it real. I wouldn't let you babysit my dog. Keep it real. You know the streets. You ain't got a dog. Gentlemen, I think we've heard enough. I'm ready for the results. Jerome. Y'all, I'm scared if that my husband, this is, my whole marriage is riding on this. If Brad turns out not to be the father, I'm scared my marriage is going to be over. A lot of stuff it'll change. Well, no, we'll like see. Said, we'll a lot see. of stuff it'll change. We'll see. First of all, like I said, your name, your your name for to come off the birth certificate. Well, it's on there now. On. Okay. Do you all want to keep arguing back and forth, or do you want to hear right, the let's, results? Let's get these results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Anderson versus Johnson, when it comes to the paternity of four-year-old Briley Johnson, it has been determined that her biological father is Mr. Anderson. So, uh, she Your Honor, may I see my like little sister? Front. May I see my little sister? No. And I can yeah. show you no, that she you does not, yes. like, she doesn't acknowledge the fact, like, acknowledge she doesn't know y'all. May I see my daughter? That's up to me. I'm no, her mother. No, no. I, I'm the father. See, that's what I've had to deal with right now. That's what you're going to That's what I've had to deal with. You, you just now oh trying to gosh. put your foot forward. Stay back here, please. Oh, he's not coming this so, way. So, Miss Johnson? He, 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 he already oh, know. What? What I know? You already know. What? You already no, know. No, I tell you what you both already know. You're not going to cut a fool up in here, so no, just I'm calm not, down. I'm, I'm... Look, I don't think any of you handled this the right way. You all are married. You off living with somebody else. She over here messing with him. He got a woman and another family at home. All of you all are wrong. What I have seen is what is right about this is that there's a beautiful little girl and two men are willing to step up to the plate and make sure she has the father that she needs and deserves. However, this is her biological father. This is the man she understands is her daddy. Are you prepared to figure this out for her? Are you just saying you want Mr. Anderson to just walk away? Because I hate to tell you, I don't think he's walking. I think you will. He's saying this now, but when we get back home, it's going to be a different story. What's the story going to be? Because he doesn't want his girlfriend to know that he's having anything to do with Bradley. His girlfriend won't allow that. Well, you My don't come to don't paternity court me. and not want your girlfriend to know something. <laughs> My girl, look, this ain't, hey, it ain't about that. It's about Bradley. Exactly. About. Children are able to understand and, and adapt. I know if you tell her and you're honest with her that she will be able to receive it. And as her mother... You're responsible for her, and you can do it. Court is adjourned.